So as I'm tearing down a couple more engines, I've got uh, three or four more to go. Um, I've had a couple subscribers ask me uh, some questions. So I thought I'd shoot this uh, little video, a little quick tip of the day on uh, what to look for while you're uh, rebuilding your motor. Um, I've had a couple subscribers ask, hey, I rebuilt my engine and I'm having overheating issues. It's either uh, backfiring or popping or white smoke's coming out of the tailpipe. Turns out there's a couple things you need to look for. Uh, while you're building, known fact that uh, the heads can warp if they get overheated. Usually uh, the surface can get warped. But uh, there's something new that I found. Now, I've never seen this before. But uh, your jug. Keep an eye on your your jug or your cylinder that uh, the piston goes into because they can also warp also. So I ran into uh, a problem with uh, one of the engines I had uh, rebuilt. Um, I rebuilt three of them now since my last video. And one of them, the head gasket leaked. So I couldn't figure out what was going on. First I thought it was a mechanical water pump seal leaking. So then I pulled the uh, the oil drain plug and I, I let some oil out. I wanted to see if there was any coolant in the oil. Didn't see any. It was uh, burning a little white smoke. It wasn't too bad but it started popping and backfiring. So I pulled the spark plug out. The spark plug was dry but it was white. Let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, well, I did clean it off since then, but so it's got some white residue on the spark plug. So that's a good indication that you're either burning really hot or you're getting coolant in your cylinder. Well, when I pulled the spark plug out, it was actually dry, but it was it was a little on the white side. So I kind of took a peek inside the spark plug hole and I saw a little bit of coolant sitting on top of the piston. It was barely enough to notice, but enough to uh, to mess something up on a long ride. So a couple, uh, couple of things can cause that. If you don't do the right torque sequence, if you don't torque your head down right, that will cause the head gasket to leak. Also what I found out was uh, the jug can uh, warped also. So here, let me, uh, let me zoom you in here. And I want to try to show you what I found. So this is the problem jug. Okay. So I wanted to know whether my head was warped or the actual jug. Oh, well, like I told you before, they're, the heads are, are known to wear. So here was my little test. I just set this over the top. And if I move it, it'll rock back and forth. So if I put it on this jug, does it rock? So I know the uh, I know the head's good. So it's it's the jug that I need to probably have uh, checked out, take to the machine shop. Um, also, another another little trick you can do. So I know the jug is shot, so I'll take it to a machine shop. But there is one other trick you can do. Um, there's some wear on here. Somebody had rebuilt this once before, and uh, there was actually some burrs on here. So you can take a file and find any uh, high edges there or something. Just take a, a file and just kind of. Get it down. I actually found a burr on uh, another engine because the guy had rebuilt it and when he put the jug on, the bottom of the jug had big gashes in it. So that was telling me that that wasn't sealing properly. So I just took a file and I filed the, the lips down because he must have hit it on the case while I was trying to install the piston. So you got to be careful of that too. Watch what kind of uh, gaskets you buy. Uh, there's a lot of cheap ones out there on eBay. Uh, I actually threw my other one away. A good gasket should have two layers and a nice thick piece of metal in between there. Got 
I'll show you the one I bought. So here's the one I bought that leaked. It's pretty flimsy. Look at that. Nothing to it. Only a really thin piece of metal in there. Um, unfortunately, this came with a, a piston kit that was actually a good name brand piston. It wasn't Weisskull. Um, but this flimsy gasket came with it. Now this is the old one. I mean that's stiff. I'm flexing on it. It ain't doing much. That's what you want. Um, you can buy a Polaris brand, Polaris name brand uh, head gasket for 47 bucks on eBay. So I would go that route. It's actually got the uh, the proper edging on there. It's like a I don't know, they put some kind of silicone on it or whatever. Yeah, a couple things to keep in mind while you're building. And, uh, you know, same with uh, the bottom of your uh, head. You know, make sure that's all smooth and clean. Uh, if you got any doubts or questions, you can bring it to a machine shop. I take a straight edge and kind of go this way and this way across it. And, uh, like I said, I've got a couple different jugs sitting here to match it up with. Um, you probably won't have another jug laying around, um, but you have any doubts, like I said, take it to the machine shop. Uh, you could try to sand it down yourself with like 600 grit, put it on a flat surface and and try to uh, smooth it out. I actually have a video of a two-stroke I did that too and it worked out fine. It's an old school trick and you know, I've been doing it for years on uh, old cars and uh, it's worked on uh, a couple Polaris I've done. So once again, if you uh, put your new motor in and it's uh, popping, backfiring, uh, like I said, check the uh, spark plug. Uh, make sure there isn't a coolant going in there. Don't uh, necessarily think it's the mechanical water pump seal all the time. Um, you know, if you built your engine right, uh, there's a little tiny weep hole at the bottom that the coolant would be coming out of if it was mechanical water pump. But like I said, you could check your oil, make sure there isn't any coolant in there. Um, like in my case, I ran into, it was just a minor leak that just slowly seeped into the piston and uh, every time I revved it up, it would backfire and just a little bit of white smoke came out. So what I decided to do is I, I took everything apart, I tried retorquing it one more time just to see if that would help. It got a little better, but uh, I ended up uh, taking it back apart and that's when I put the... Uh, that's when I put the head over the jug and I saw it rocking back and forth. So I hope this uh, helps you out. Uh, like I said, uh, keep an eye on the gaskets, what, what kind of gasket you buy. Uh, make sure you got clean surfaces. Um, make sure your torque sequence is correct. You know, I have a video on uh, uh, how to torque a head down the proper way, um, and that's per Polaris. And so if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of Polaris repairs on there. Uh, anything from two strokes to four strokes. So um, hope you enjoyed the video and like always, till next time.